Hello and welcome to Total IELTS and in today's lesson I'll be looking at how using idioms or idiomatic language can improve your lexical band score in the IELTS writing and speaking tests. I'll also be looking into the drawbacks and myths surrounding the use of idioms, especially in the speaking test. On most of the slides you'll see a popular English language idiom in picture form. So why not take some time to find out its meaning and try to start using them when practicing for the IELTS speaking and writing tests. Let's kick off with a popular IELTS speaking test myth that I've heard from students and even teachers and that's I should use lots of idioms in the speaking test to get a high score. Well, it is true that idiomatic language is recognized and graded in the lexical resource criterion. As you can see in the speaking band descriptors, at band 7 it says uses idiomatic language. However, this is only one category in this criterion. The other categories include lexical resource, that's your range of vocabulary, style and collocation, and your ability to paraphrase. So don't spend the majority of your preparation and study time memorizing lists of idioms and neglecting the other categories that you are going to be assessed in. And when to use idioms. Idiomatic language should be used in the speaking test because it's 100% informal not semi-formal and certainly not formal, in spite of what you might have heard. Native speakers use idiomatic language all the time, which I'm sure you do in your own language. You can also use idioms in general training writing, part one, for informal letters only. These are letters to friends or family members, and it's very much like talking to them on the phone. Let's take a look at an example. Here's a general training response, writing part one, informal letter. Dear James, how are you? I have not heard from you in a long time. I am writing to inform you about my trip to London. So it's a clear introduction. It states the purpose of the letter. The grammar and punctuation are pretty fine. But the big problem here is it's way too formal. Instead, have a look at this. Hi James, what's up? Long time no see. Just a quick note to give you the heads up about my jaunt to London. This is much more informal and suitable for the task. When students think about idioms, they almost always think about and use fixed phrases, such as you can see in the pictures here. However, idiomatic language can and should also include the humble but extremely useful idiomatic phrasal verb, and accurate use of these will have a positive effect on your lexical resource score. Take a gander at this. This is a response to a question in the speaking test. When I lived in Japan, I learned Japanese by meeting friends and colleagues and relaxing with them in my free time. So it's a pretty good answer, but pause the video here for a while and try to replace the words in red by phrasal verbs. So maybe you got something like this. When I lived in Japan, I picked up Japanese by hanging out with friends and colleagues and chilling out with them in my free time. This sounds a lot more natural and shows awareness and accurate use of idiomatic phrasal verbs. And in a nutshell, using idioms will have a positive effect on your lexical resource band score. Use them only in speaking and general training letter writing, informal letters only. However, a word of caution. 
using idioms can be a double-edged sword. That means it can have either a positive or negative effect. So when it comes to idioms, be 100% sure of their meaning. Use them in context, don't overuse them. This will sound unnatural. And don't forget to focus on all the other lexical resource categories and not just idioms. And finally, fixed phrases are not the only idioms in town. Don't forget the underrated idiomatic phrasal verbs. They do the job equally well.